I just got so down that I was on my hands and knees looking for change and things to buy more crack. And uh, I got uh, just so desperate and so my heart was just pounding and I felt like there was this huge weight on my shoulders. And then uh, while I was down there looking for change and looking for more crack on the floor thinking I dropped some, which I never did, um, I just started crying and asked God, you know, if this is what he wanted me to do, you know, why was I down there on my knees? And while I was down there, I just asked him to, uh, to take some of the burden off my heart because I couldn't stand it anymore. And I was getting ready to kill myself. And he just, uh, he just lifted the burden off my heart and I, I could finally get back up again. And uh, it just felt so good that I thought I better get back to church and find out what, what I'm missing because something's not right. I went back and talked to my priest and had confession. And um, I, I thought God didn't want me, or why would God want me? Why would he want somebody like me? And the priest told me that, uh, of course he wanted me. You know, that he made me and that it was okay. I was really afraid I couldn't be forgiven for all the things that I had done in those 26 years. And it wasn't a matter of living in the suburbs and raising kids and not just going to church. I was actively went in the opposite direction of what my religious training had taught me. Um, I don't hesitate to say that having worked in the broadcasting industry, I was promiscuous. Um, I never did get involved in drugs, thank God, but there was a lot of drinking, there was a lot of sleeping around, there were a lot of things that were the antipathy of what I had been taught by the nuns and my Catholic upbringing. So maybe there was a little bit of a rebellion there. I dabbled in the occult and um, the paranormal. And so consequently, when I came back, I really felt, I felt dirty. I felt like there was no way God could forgive me. Immediately felt fear, uh, fear of being alone. And um, I met a woman um, at work. I went back to work and um, a year later, she and I were married. Uh, the marriage turned out to be a catastrophe. And uh, I realized that I had uh, really made a big mistake. I was now uh, an adulterer, and I was still married in the church's eyes to, to my first wife, Teresa. And that was when I started to feel like I was adrift. Um, and I kept drifting farther and farther away, even though I had a devotion to Mary and to Jesus. I I couldn't seem to reconcile what I had done and um, kind of beat myself up a lot about it. Um, the second marriage ended in divorce and um, I wanted very much to, to live a religious life, but I felt that the door was now permanently closed to the Catholic Church because of what I had done. I've been married for almost 11 years now. and. The reason why I got back into church is um, I really wasn't that faithful to my wife. I know that I loved her, but I took a lot of things for granted in our marriage. And one incident, I went too far. And I was about to lose my wife and my family, and um, I didn't know how to get them back. I turned to God, I said a prayer, and I told him if he let me keep my family. I promise him that I will, will not do those things again. My dad disowned me. And I think that that hurt a lot. So I um, started to uh, I mean, I wasn't obedient. I didn't honor them. They had every right to just get fed up with me. But um, I met this guy, and I got pregnant out of wedlock. You were faithful to the Father not so long ago. Before someone you trusted let you down 
Now you're not so sure if you can give your trust again to a God who let your hero fall. You recall the childhood memory of innocence. You recall the peace that only comes from God. Did you know that He invites you to receive His love again? Did you know that He can heal your broken heart? Come home. The Father welcomes you. He is waiting. child that he once knew. Come home, the Father welcomes you. He will take your heart of pain and make your heart brand new. Today it seems impossible to trust again. Today it would be easier to hide But all you have to do is open up your heart to God And tomorrow you'll be thankful that you tried Come home The Father welcomes you He is waiting there with open arms for a child that he wants new. Come home, the Father welcomes you. He will take your heart of pain and make your heart brand new. And when longest time that I was kind of junk, that um, why would God want a crack addict or why would he want um, someone with a failed marriage or, or anything like that? Why would he want someone like me who stole or cheated or lied? And I realize now that uh, God surround, Jesus has surrounded himself with people like me you know, his entire life, people who he turned around and called out to and said, follow me, and they did. And when we're truly learning God's love, we can uh, love ourselves and then love others. Uh, since we've been back into the church, my family and, my family and I have been closer. Um, we understand a lot more things than before. We have stronger faith in ourselves, um, in our understanding of our marriage, and with the help of God, um, this marriage is going to last. The minute the Eucharist starts, the minute we start to celebrate Mass, all that falls away and, and we're family. And by the time we're, we're actually partaking of the Eucharist, we're one. And it's, it's such a, a fantastic experience that I don't want to ever be away from that ever again. Not ever. I actually felt as though someone put their arms around me from behind 
and I was filled with so much love and so much peace and so much quiet in my soul that I knew then that I had been totally forgiven and the things I had done had been forgotten and that I could move forward from there and move forward like you know, a rocket taking off from Cape Kennedy. <laughs> uh, I really got involved in the church, and it's so fulfilling uh, spiritually, physically, mentally, intellectually that um, I urge everyone to do it.